Yeah. Mm -hmm. Diane, get Michael out of here right now. Look, you don't rule this world, okay, Morgan? Michael's being charged with murder. Well, unless you would like to confess. We got enough evidence against Michael to bring murder charges. So if you got something game-changing to offer, you may want to do it now. No one's offering anything today. Yeah, I, I want to see the video footage. Oh, how do you know we have that? Mr. Morgan is on the video footage. He has every right to see it. All right. <clears throat> okay, now watch. Watch, right? I'm freezing it right there. What do you see? I see Michael holding Brandon at gunpoint. No. It is Michael, yes, but it's shot from behind. It's impossible to tell what, if anything, is in his hand. You know, she's got a point, Ronnie. I mean, we can't tell if he's got a gun in his hand or if he's just giving the guy directions. Wow. You're unbelievable. Huh? Yeah, yeah, you run right to Jason, but you can't get there fast enough telling him everything and anything that we do here at the station, and now you're twisting yourself in knots to disparage the evidence? You're on thin ice, pal, I'm telling you. I mean, you're still on thin ice from the last time that you tried to protect your brother. Okay, detective, and I'm assuming... It is still detective, right? Because I'm just waiting with bated breath for the day that you are demoted down to traffic cop. Now, did I just hear you berate a fellow officer for pointing out an obvious flaw in your so-called evidence? Dante, you, you need to get out of this as soon as you can. Well, unless you don't mind the brass thinking you're knee-deep in a murder cover-up. Detective, if you have an issue with the conduct of a fellow officer, I suggest you take it up with internal affairs. And right now, your conduct, far more questionable than that of Detective Falconeri. Doesn't even matter. My priority, my clients. Because this little powwow has done nothing but waste everybody's time. So far, you haven't shown me one shred of evidence, concrete, irrefutable, which connects Jason Morgan or Michael Corinthos to the crime. I love lawyers. You know, you think if you string enough words together, you could talk your way out of anything. <laughs> okay, well, maybe... <laughs> My fault. Maybe I've just misunderstood, and this, this grainy cell phone footage is just a preamble. And now you're going to click forward and show me the real evidence. Something other than Michael having a conversation with Brendan Lowell. Because that's all you got. There is no weapon. Brendan Lowell walks away from that conversation alive and unharmed. You know, I could make a case for unprofessionalism with regard to you, because the higher-ups tend to take a dim view of cops who misrepresent evidence in order to coerce a confession. Listen, I made sure Michael's lawyer was present before questioning. I didn't misrepresent a damn thing. We got tape here with Michael confronting the victim, and then said victim shows up with, with two bullets in the back of his head. Execution style, I may add. It was a little sloppy, though. It was like someone trying to earn their stripes. Speculative and, I might add, defamatory. Look, Ronnie, we don't have enough evidence to hold Michael, okay? So unless you want to confess to something after all, no. You know what? Why don't you get out, okay? Two of you need to decide which one of you need to get your affairs in order because this is not going away. Careful, Detective. Your personal bias is showing. You may want to stick around and consult with Detective Falconeri because this internal affairs investigation may happen sooner than you think. Look, I don't give a damn what happens to Jason, but if Michael gets sent up to Pentonville for another murder, we'll never see him again. Dante. Ronnie Domestico is working on an arrest warrant for Michael. Well, that can't happen. You have to stop it. Well, I'm not so sure that Michael didn't kill Brandon. How can you say that? Well, my brother has one hell of a temper, especially when he's protecting someone he loves. In other words, me. Brandon was roughing you up. He was threatening you. Michael didn't kill Brandon. Now, how can you be so sure? How can you not be? Look, it's my job to question, and right now I'm wondering, between you and Michael, who's covering what for whom? Okay, I'll... Look, I've been rooting for you and Michael since the get-go. Okay, I think you've been amazing for him. But you also had a life before him, a difficult one. You were a victim of domestic violence. And I know a lot of women in your situation get desperate to find a way to make that stop. Is there something you want to accuse me of, Detective? Brandon was stalking you. He beat you up. Anyone can see how that would make you snap. You think you understand me? <sighs> Have you ever been in a relationship with someone who tries to kick your ass every time you leave? Or who, who manipulates your insecurities to the point where you think that's all you're worth? Don't stand here armed with your crap that you can read in a pamphlet and think that you can draw some kind of conclusions about me. <sighs> 
All I'm saying is that if you reached your limit and you did snap, you wouldn't be the first. Courts are a lot more lenient these days. You have an eyewitness to the physical abuse that Brandon did to you. You have a paper trail at the PCPD and the hospital of the attempted rape. You can come out of this hole. Michael, on the other hand, another murder charge, and he's done for life. And don't kid yourself and think that Sonny can protect him. You're supposed to be protecting him. But from what I've seen, you're not very good at it. That night when Brandon almost raped me, you told me that if I pressed charges, they'd stick. Well, guess what? They didn't. He sailed right out of jail from under your nose. That's because you didn't listen to my advice, Abby, and you dropped the charges. He was already out on bail. He was threatening to take Michael into court. I mean, uh, you know, I couldn't risk anything happening to no, Michael. You're risking that right now. You are part of Brandon's investigation team here. Why don't you turn up another suspect? Why do you think I'm here, Abby? Abby didn't kill Brandon. I appreciate your honesty. Stings a little, but hey, you're just doing your job. If it takes the heat off Michael, suspect me all you want. I know, it makes sense, Abby. And you can't deny your life is a lot easier with Brandon out of the picture. I mean, even with him dead, you still have a hell of a lot of anger towards him. Don't you think if I killed him, some of that anger would dissipate? You know, I don't know. Uh, I'm not a shrink. I'm just dealing with the facts in front of me. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Why don't you tell me that you really do care about Michael and you're not using him to keep yourself out of trouble? If I told you that, would you believe me? I'd like to. But? Yeah, but... I gotta go back to work and hopefully I come up with a killer other than you or Michael. But I'm telling you right now, if you did this, if you're the one who killed Brandon, you're the one going down for it. There's no way I'm letting my brother take the fall for you. Michael's in trouble. I need your help. I'm doing everything I can Safeguarding to protect Michael's Michael. rights not going to help. You got to do something. Well, you got to shut down the case. Whatever you got to do with the evidence, I don't know. Okay? Are you serious? The guy with the with the nosy cell phone, witnesses. Give me the names, and I'll, you know, I'll take care of that. Tony, I, I told you before, there are lines I will not cross, not even for my. Screw Michael. your lines, screw your badge, mm. for once. You, you, you had faith in the system before Michael went to prison. That's not happening again. So use your badge this time to protect your brother. <laughs> 